everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel Ray and today I'm going to unbox a very special package from Diamond Shop if you follow their channel here on YouTube you might have seen the packaging of this in volume number 107 if you want to see that in reverse uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and open I ordered this back when the paint by numbers just released and so I have a paint by number and a diamond painting in this package and I'm super duper excited to share it with you because it's going to be special. Uh, the one thing, I, I am an ambassador, but I did pay for this um, painting, just in case you're curious. I, I like Diamond Shop. I really like their artists, their approach to um, packaging. It's unique compared to other companies. Um, the only downside, I suppose you could say, is that you do have to wait a little while. So they do have like special, I don't know, perks to those of us who do purchase and, you know, make multiple purchases over periods of time. And you could definitely learn more about that from the affiliates. But here we go. So this is the way it came. Package nice like that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of this as well. How are you doing today? I'm so excited. I've been waiting all day for this to come in the mail. So I've got some instructions for paint art by chart. And please don't mind my nails. I'm giving them a little bit of a break. That's awesome. Yeah, they sent me a paint by number to try. I'll go ahead and link it up in the eye so that you can check that video out. Um, but as soon as they released the collection, there was one that I knew I had to have. Um, because I absolutely love this artist. And yeah. While I was there, I was like, you know what, since I'm making an order, I might as well get a diamond painting too, and that way I can save on the shipping. Get rid of that. Alright, so this is how it all came. You can see I've got paint for the paint by number. Okay, I've got diamonds for my diamond painting. I've got the little head for the paintbrush. I'm gonna go over this stuff quickly because I've already unboxed one of these before. I wanna get, get to the good stuff. They've given me another bag and a gift pouch, which is awesome. So I got another few stickers in there. This is the, I think this is the toolkit. It has my name on it. It's very special the way that they package this. It's very, you know, individual. So in here, I've got all the tools for the diamond painting. I've got two big plates of wax, two green boats, two pens with six placers or seven, seven placers, tweezers, and is there anything else? Nope, that's it. So that's the toolkit they've given me. That's for all the other stuff. This right here is the clasp for my Zuli tube. I went ahead and I purchased a Zuli tube, which is basically a protective art tube. This I upgraded my paint by number to have the frame because I want to frame her. So this is all the framing stuff. And there's washi tape in there. I can see some beautiful telescope washi tape inside there. But I really, I really want to get into the, to the good stuff here. <laughs> so please don't mind me while I rush through this part and then I'll take all that stuff out of the packaging off camera so that you don't have to see that. But I really want to see what this looks like. So I do have another Zuli tube but this one has another one of my favorite artists artwork on the outside. So I'm super excited. <gasps> yes, look at it. This is the Tanya Shatseva, or I hope I pronounced that right. Tanya Shatseva, uh, Diamond Shop 
Zulitube. I have two of these paintings. I have this one right here, and I have this one right here. Aren't they beautiful? So the way that it works is that you untwist the tube, and it gets bigger. So you can fit virtually any size painting up to that size. And they've changed their canvas, you guys. So let's move this stuff to the side. Okay. Give us some room. So here's my diamond painting. This is the Sailor Moon painting by Sheruki. Sheruki or Cheriuki. Oh, they've changed their canvas. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to put the paint by number to the side for a second. Wow, so it's got it's got that cotton feel like that eco canvas. It's poured glue still. I'm going to roll it the other way to see if it'll lie flatter for us. They have scalloped edges on the painting. The symbols are really clear. Oh my goodness. So you can see they've got the, this is still, this is attached again. So we've got the attached uh, legend, 40 colors. Wow, the printing is unreal. Oh, this is great. This is really, really good. You guys, this is super clear. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you down. All right, first let's look at the legend because I think it's really important to notice this. They've got the first few numbers in the same order as the legend. That is actually really cool and it keeps you from getting confused. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then A through Z, there's no B. And then they have some symbols and then they have two lowercase letters and that's it. That is really, really awesome. Really, really, really clear and much easier for us to read. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let me turn this around. All right, here is the drill field. So you can see that there are no guide circles. This is a round drill, 45 by 63 centimeter, but there are no guide circles, meaning, um, or training wheels, you might call them you know, where you could line up the edge of the drill with it. I prefer it this way personally, but um, it's all up to personal preference, but I actually like it this way. And this is amazing because all of the light colors are uh, very small letters, which is wonderful. I think that's gonna help a lot with um, no shadowing happening in the face especially so that's really good what do you think this is all just personal experience talking here but i think this is much clearer and easier to read honestly i don't need a light pad with this this is a, a huge improvement this is awesome have a look up here as well in her space buns. Really cool. Now for the symbols, if you get confused on symbols, I do recommend labeling your containers or your drill bags with the actual symbols. If it's not already on there, we're going to have a look at that here in just a minute. But this is really cool, and let's look at the glue as well while we're down here. I do see that it extends quite a bit up here on the edge, but I would, I would say um, some washi tape would help with that to keep that line nice and crisp, or painter's tape, or you know, whatever you'd like to use. Um, but, oh, hang on. oh, it's really sticky. Okay, so the glue is still very, very sticky. It's just extended a little bit past the edge. That's okay. We can deal with that. 
So let's have a look at the diamonds. I'm just gonna keep you right here. Okay. So this is something new that I just noticed is that they have an inventory sheet now. And Sailor Moon, Rachel Ray. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna open this up, so close your ears. <laughs> I'm not going to open it all the way because we can see how the drill bags are labeled just by looking at them here. They have the DMC number, they have the weight, and they're all in Ziploc bags, which is awesome. Um, I'm sure that they're all here, but I will check it off camera um, just because I always do that when they give me an inventory sheet just to make sure. Because if there is a problem, it's good to catch it before, um, you know, before long. So... The inventory sheet is nice. The printer, though, looked like it kind of ran out of ink, but that's all right. Um, it's cool that this factory is now supplying us with an inventory sheet. It makes it much easier to label containers uh, if you want to. But on the bags themselves, you have enough space to draw the symbol if you prefer to work out of baggies. I like to work out of containers, and that's why I use the inventory sheet. So. Let me go ahead and check this real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so it looks like we do have all of the colors that are needed. Uh, I went through all the, all the diamonds there just to have a look. And it looks like we're good. Um, the colors are really nice. There's lots of pinks, some grays, and then we have these sharp pops of color like we have purples and oranges. The oranges are for the stars in the background, which you might see here. Um, I'm guessing the purples are for some of the sh shading in the skin. Um, and of course there's blues for her eyes and then colors for her hair. But I went ahead and I put them in number order because they were mostly in number order, but they had slid around a little bit, um, which is fine. And then they gave me some ABs for free. So these are pink Aurora Borealis diamonds. Aurora Borealis is the one that sparkles just a little bit brighter. And this is really cool. Um, I'm just trying to think where I might put them because honestly, I think I would just put it maybe in her bow here. There are some spots in here, the letter Z, which is DMC 3326. 3326 is that shade, which is really close. Let's see, what's 151? That's close too, but no dice. I think that's the closest we're gonna get. So Z's are here, and they're also up in her sailor buns up at the top, the, the reddish pink buns up there. So I think that's what I would use to highlight, maybe a little bit here in her um, collar as well, her necklace. So this is the diamond painting. I'm super happy with that. Again, that's a 45 by 63 centimeter. I didn't want to get it too big because it's hard to frame and it takes a lot longer to do. <laughs> and my track record in the past hasn't been so good. So I decided that I would try smaller diamond paintings for a little while. And I'm really pleased with the rendering on this canvas. So I'm really looking forward to it. Now I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna look at the paint by numbers. Ta-da! I got June Blooms by Margaret Morales. Now this one is one of my favorite diamond paintings that was available as well on Diamond Shop. And I decided that I would get it in a paint art by chart kit. It's so cool. There's a lot of detail in this one. But I think that this is a great way to, um, you know, 
mix it up a bit if you get burnt out by diamond painting. This is another way to get your favorite artist's kits in a paint by number. I, I really like it. So with this, because it was my first uh, purchase from them, they included some specialty things with it for free. And I've got a, this is a paintbrush holder. I've got this little cover minder, you could call it, but it's actually like to put on your finished piece to show who the original artist is. And I don't know, is that, is that Michelangelo? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> then I've got some beautiful washi tape. It's like a dreaming girl with a fox and then some, you know, astronomy stuff. And it looks like there's a little prince as well. How cute. That's cute washi tape. Then we've got the, I added on the frame and these are push pins to put the finished piece around the frame. So those go together. And then also, like I said, there's this bag to hold everything in. So you can just make sure that you don't lose anything by sticking it in here. The washi tape is going to protect the edges while you're painting so that you don't paint over the edge, if that is a problem for you. And then you also get the colors right here. You get the paintbrushes and the hardware if you want to hang up the frame, those come together. We've got the, like a printed chart so that you have a reference and it shows you all of the colors as well that are in the kit. And I don't know, is that like the Pantone code maybe, or the hex code? I'm not really sure. And then inside here, I believe this is the foil. They'll send you foil in this little upgrade. So let's see what color I get. Here we go, please. Thank you. What color is it? Uh, I think it's gold. <gasps> yes, it's gold. So you can see that's gold leaf. It's very pretty, isn't it? So that's to color in the Diamond Shop uh, emblem at the bottom if you wish, or you could use it in other parts of the canvas. I might use it to kind of, you know, I don't know, enhance areas of the picture. So if you don't know the picture, this is the picture. I should have shown that first, sorry. But it is beautiful, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I would have put it on the screen so that you could see it. And there's our gorgeous colors. I love the way that they send the colors because in this configuration, you can take out each individual color if you like, or you can keep it in this neat little holder. And I actually really like it in the holder so that it's nice and sturdy and you won't lose them. Um, so that's where I'm gonna keep mine, but Yes, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I think that it's really pretty. Um, and you can see down here, this is what I was talking about with the Diamond Shop emblem or logo. And if you don't want that, then you can just fill it in with color. Why not? It's your canvas. You can do whatever you want with it. So guys, that is what I got from Diamond Shop. I'm really happy that I you know, went ahead and I purchased another Zuli tube um, because these these are actually really, really nice for storing your diamond paintings while you're working or while you're waiting to work on them so that they don't get crushed. And also, as you could see, it was shipped to me in this container, so there's no problems with the canvas at all. Didn't get crushed by anybody in the post offices, <laughs> which is a problem we seem to always have these days. And I don't know what's going on with some post people. But anyway, I know it's a hard job, but I would rather not have my, uh, my diamond paintings and stuff stepped on. But, you know, that's just the way life is right now. So that is that. That's my pretty new tube and all of the fun stuff that I received in it. 
I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and that you uh, found it interesting and helpful. And if you did, and you did enjoy it, please leave me a like and let me know down below which diamond painting would you like to get from Diamond Shop. I have a link down below. It's not an affiliate code, so if you would like to um, support one of the affiliates, I will leave their links down below in the description box below so you can check out their channels too because they do get some, you know, extra kits and they show Diamond Shop quite a bit. So. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.